It alleviates stress and takes the edge off. It's an excuse to break from work, plus it makes you feel good. Just some of the reasons addicts have for smoking. For years, Surgeon General warnings and even commercials have been preaching about the dangers that go along with the cigarette habit. But for so many Americans, the need takes hold. Fox Toledo's Allison Brown's on special assignment with two area women who have struggled with their addiction for years and how they realized it was time to quit. Donette Lynch and Cheryl Gomez are two complete strangers who share a common trait. They're both addicted to tobacco. It's been an addiction that's haunted them for years, and when they finally realized it, they had lost thousands of dollars and their quality of life had been threatened. It started with a decision. I was uh, in junior high, as a matter of fact. I, I've always been a really nervous person, and we were studying. We were doing an all-nighter, studying for our nursing exams. And I kept chewing on this pencil and chewing on this pencil. Just trying to be like the rest of my friends. Just try to be a part of the crowd. Back then it was a cool, the in cool thing. And my girlfriend said to me, you are making me crazy. She pulls out a cigarette and says, if you want to put something in your mouth, have this. It's just a constant need once you start doing it. For these two women, that constant need became part of the daily routine. You don't even realize it, you know. You're out drinking with somebody and sitting around in a crowd or around a campfire or something, and you just don't realize you're even lighting up. We smoked in the cafeteria. Um, people smoked on the nursing unit. Patients smoked in their rooms. It, it was just no big deal. The two cigarette addicts lived for more than three decades, spending money and personal time all to keep that nicotine hunger fed. Always felt like, yes, I know this isn't really good for me, but it's a personal choice and it's one of the few vices that I have and I'm not hurting anyone except myself. Sometimes it's just comfortable just to light up a cigarette and say, okay, it's, that's better. <laughs> These women are not alone. In Ohio, 20.1% of the adult population is current smokers. That's nearly 1.8 million people. And with that many people craving a smoke, these two say you really have to hit a breaking point to start the road to recovery. For Cheryl, working at ProMedica, a smoke-free health system helped make up her mind. Donette had two major scares, though. First, her health. I found out about seven, eight months ago I was diagnosed with COPD. And I couldn't breathe. <laughs> the first thing I want to do is I want to breathe. When I wake up in the morning, I want to breathe. I want to be able to take a breath of fresh air. Then she checked her bank account. What is it, 36 bucks a week, uh, 100 something or whatnot a month, times 12, times 32 years, $55,196 in the past 32 years. I am ready. I am so ready. I could have paid for my house. <laughs> I could have had that money sitting in the bank, you know. There's a lot of things I could have done with that money. So, changes are being made. Donette is down from a pack and a half a day to about three to five cigarettes a day. And Cheryl, well, she's been smoke-free for about 11 months. But these two women have not stopped fighting, and they are not fighting alone. Coming up later in the newscast, I'll tell you about the free ways that they are getting help and how you can get that help, too. On special assignment, Allison Brown, Fox Toledo News. Meantime, a time to quit. Earlier in our newscast, we introduced you to two area women that have been struggling with their tobacco addictions for the past 30 years. Both say that when it was time to buckle down, it was important to find a solution that would stick. Fox Toledo's Allison Brown is on special assignment with why Toledo Hospital plays such an important role in that process. It started with a decision to quit. I just want to... I want a life after smoking. I just want to quit smoking. I think it's really important that if, if this is what you want for yourself, that you don't give up, that you're going to fail and it's okay because you will learn something. You've got to be nice to yourself. There are programs out there, there are people out there, and there are groups that will help you if you're truly serious. These women chose the Toledo Hospital Tobacco Treatment Program, a free six-week program open to anyone in the community who is dependent on tobacco. It is stronger than a heroin addiction or a cocaine addiction to try to quit. Linda Morris has been a certified tobacco treatment specialist for the last 15 years. Stick this with your pack of cigarettes this week. And she knows the stats. Nearly one in every five deaths can be blamed on health effects from cigarette smoking. And this is amazing. More deaths are caused each year by tobacco use than by all deaths from HIV, illegal drug use, alcohol use, driving injuries, suicides, and murders combined. 
Still, each session, Moore sees more addicts at her door who want help. There are a lot of people that have no support, absolutely no support. There are always the naysayers that are out there too saying, oh sure, you're going to try this again. <laughs> Let's see how that works. But Morris has the goal of changing lives. She says her teaching starts with awareness. Enlighten them on why it is an addiction, what makes it an addiction, so that they can understand and make the decision themselves. After the quit day, we, we begin talking about, the, of course, the um, side effects what they might experience. Because relapse does happen, and it's expected, but there are ways to cope. Cheryl Gomez fought the urge to light up by writing a blog as therapy. Part of why I wanted to do the blog was I thought, well, you know, maybe for one other person, they'll hear something new, something that they hadn't thought of. It was just amazing to feel that kind of support from people that you, did, that you didn't even know. Morris says no matter how you choose to quit smoking, stay with it. Motto now used by Toledo native Donette Lynch. Sometimes you just gotta take a deep look at yourself and go with the changes. I'm more than a step closer. Um, before I would not even have thought about this and uh, today I'm back, back doing what I love to do. I'm able to work out, I work out, I'm, food tastes different, um, the air smells a little fresher. It makes you want to just take everything and clean everything in your house. It's it's actually, it's a nice feeling. We'll never quit trying to quit. Now, of course, there are plenty of programs, treatments, and medicines out there to help you kick the habit if you're ready, but ultimately, you have to make that decision. For more information about different places in our area that can help you quit smoking, just click onto our website, foxtoledo.com. On special assignment tonight, Allison Brown, Fox Toledo News.